Hello people, I'm back with a new video that's Fibonacci retracement and Fibonacci extension concept. This is one of the beautiful concept and significant which is very easy to execute and it has almost 99% of success ratio. So basically what's Fibonacci retracement? Fibonacci retracement is nothing but you have a place where uh, you have something called 0 0.61 or 161 or few more Im important levels where the stock price come to that level and goes back or follows the trend. So basically if the trend is in a bullish way, you have some some sort of some sort of resistance here on a bullish trend you have some sort of resistance here so the stock or the price starts getting down or starts seeing a bearish move and then when it faces uh, Fibonacci levels like 6, 0 0.61, 127 or 0 0.38 all these levels make some sense but we don't have to concentrate on all these levels we just have to concentrate on 1.618 1. Uh, 0.618 and sometimes 1.272 so basically when the stock is retracing it retraces exactly at 0 0.61 and obviously it is going to give you profits at 1.27 or 1.61 and that will be your target price i will teach you how to how to go with this with live uh, analysis too so basically uh, when there is a bullish market or a bearish market you can use both the ways so this is on a bullish market where you draw it you draw from the 100 that is 1 to 0 basically if this is your highest highest uh, seen price and this is your lowest seen recently you take it from the top to bottom and then you find these kind of levels this is this is how it looks so there's one more uh, one more concept where you have fibonacci extension okay when the fibonacci extension when do you use this when the market is very bullish or you know that the market is going to go very high or going very low so that is when you use it of uh, use fibonacci extension or you i'll just show you pretty later on how uh, fibonacci extension goes as well so how do you draw fibonacci extension is you take the lowest on an uptrend you take the lowest and the highest and the recent low the recent low gives you the Fibonacci extension where uh, this also represents the same the, ta the targets basically Fibonacci is used to used for only targets or seeing the retracement once you find the retraced level you use it for the target so there are two reasons why you use Fibonacci Fibonacci one is for retracement and one is for the target this is on a bullish market this is how you take it and when it's on a downtrend, it's just vice versa, where you draw from the top to bottom and then the recent high. See, basically you you take you draw from the you take the first level from the top and the recent uh, the the low you see and the recent high, and you get a Fibonacci extension in the a bearish bearish uh, move. So. I'll, I'll show you how actually it works uh, in the live uh, trading analysis too but this is how your uh, higher high and higher low concept this is the one of the most important and basic concept you ever learned and maybe in um, support and resistance level so basically what just happens is at one I've, I've i've thought this in the previous video but i'll just have a glance on this where at one two three four you have couple of resistance or supports okay so that so one you once when you once when the level reaches at one there is some uh, resistance uh, seen here so then it it starts getting bearish move in a bullish in a bullish trend you start getting a bearish move so 
this is the place where you get 61 Fibonacci retracement and then from here you enter the point till here till here you stay in the trade and take your profits here that is what I've shown here I'm sorry see once once you find a good resistance here you wait for the retracement at 0 0.61 and then you enter here and target it to 161 and then this is the resistance you would have faced because of some uh, rejection previously okay then you wait for the retracement for the confirmation that the market is still bullish so you enter here and exit this is the previous resistance so this is 61 to 161 61 to 161 this is how you enter enter seeing the retracement and exit seeing the target that is Fibonacci extension of Fibonacci retracement I'll show you how to analyze the chat okay um, okay I'll go with um, Fibonacci first okay once I'll just show you how to analyze the trade uh, trade using Fibonacci okay I'll show you first how where you find this there's something called Fibonacci retracement you find it everywhere basically we use a uh, trade view so you draw from the high to low to get the bullish trend or bullish target so so what is just happening here is at morning 9 15 you saw that there was a bullish there was a bearish candle but there was a huge rejection or support found below that is because there was uh, there was some resistance here right there was some resistance here so sorry there was some support so the market had to go above okay that's that's a different pr perspective that is that i've explained in the previous video that's support and resistance so once you see that there is a good support and you need a confirmation that the market is going to be in an uptrend okay so how do you find that as I taught you that see from the low to the high from low to the high you draw the Fibonacci here once you draw Fibonacci you see that there is a good rejection or a retracement or there is a good support at 61 Fibonacci level okay once you uh, once you buy here once you get into this with the stop loss just below just below it you you don't know where you have to target right that is when i told you you have to use fibonacci extension how do you how do you uh, use fibonacci to mention the target so take the highest and the lowest and see where you have 161 is my next target so i aim it here this is on the bank nifty chart where it is giving a good one is to it's almost about uh 20 risking 21 for target uh 29 okay that is one target is achieved and then you find the next low to the high for the confirmation of bullish bullish trend you take it from the low to the high what do you see here there is again a retracement at 0 0.61 so again you get into the trade here you get into the trade with same stop loss below the fibonacci fibonacci and you target it till here why do you why do you find that how do you find the target is draw it from the top to bottom and aim it till 61 that is 161 that will be target will be here so you achieved the second target 
and this keeps going on till where do I see the concept comes here itself this is my next support you know that there there will be a bullish market till here right that is all because of support and resistance concept we have learned okay so how do you keep uh, analyzing uh, this one see again i see that there is a uh, there is a bullish trend again and then find find one more trend where there is a 61 fibonacci uh, retracement and then get into the trade same high high to the low and my target is achieved again my target is achieved where i take my risk of about five or something which is just below the retraced value to 161 will be my target and i'll show you how uh, how do you, how you use fibonacci retracement uh, fibonacci extension on a bullish market you you first take the lowest one to the highest and the recent low will give you the target 161 target okay i if you uh, if you kind of know that um, the market will reach here so basically you have started your journey here you know that the market might reach here but you don't know where you have to exactly get out of the trade so what you do is on a bullish market you take the low to the high and then back to the recent low this gives you this gives you target till here that will be from uh, you basically enter your trade here enter your trade and mark your mark your target till here so if at all you're not if if you don't feel that this is kind of impossible yeah obviously it has reached my target but you feel that it has not reached or it might not reach my target that is when you have to consider 1.27 1.27 is one more important fibonacci level where you find your target and that will be here 1.27 where um where you have good resistance at this point see it reaches till 1.27 so once you get into the trade here you can aim it till here with the stop loss of about um, 20 which is just below your entering point that is how you use Fibonacci and this will work in any time frame just consider uh, just uh, I'm just going randomly where I've considered one hour one hour uh, Fibonacci so we'll let you know uh, this is two days okay we'll uh, we'll get it I'll just show you in how it works in the downtrend let me consider Fibonacci retracement by having the lowest to the highest will be my first target okay that is how you enter here how do, how do you enter here is you see that there is a con confirm rejection here so you just get into a trade like this with a stop loss just above it and the target might be this much I always go with 61 to 161 if you want see you uh, you just saw that this this target this target uh, was not that uh, significant cause that the market has gone way below that is when you find retracement how do you find retracement is take from the highest to the lowest 
and the recent high how do you find with that see how beautifully it has acted where you enter at 618 just assume that you this is a gap up because this is one hour candle this is gap up where you enter here and target is till here it has achieved here or uh, if you don't if you feel that okay i have a great rejection here i'm sorry i cannot risk more than that that is when you have to consider that is what safe traders do they consider 1.27 as the safe trading or safe target that is when you i just told you how to consider the extension that is 1.27 so this is how you analyze Fibonacci for retracement and you you can use it for every trade every trade possible and will give you a very good uh, very good profits using Fibonacci 